way underneath there. This one? You switch it on? Yeah, pull it up. Pull it up, start it, and then when you're ready to go, you put it down. And don't give it any gas. First? You're in first gear? Okay. You're supposed to be in first. Okay. Let me see something on your bike. <coughs> I see. How it rides. Neutral. Keep going at speed. This is the hardest hill of the whole trail. Huh? <laughs> I said this is the hardest hill of this trail. <laughs> but uh, yeah. so yeah, the thing is that uh, yeah, you need to keep up more speed. How do I keep the speed up? Yeah, let me show you. <clears throat>
They need to really be flying. Yeah, it bogs down like immediately. We really need to have this thing going. down give it full throttle is too much half throttle and it has to be medium rpm the whole way once it gets to that stage because you hear bogging then you, then you tweak it down but it's got to be medium rpm the whole way and you got to get to that point and until you get to that point it's going to bog and you can't give it full gas it bogs you got to give it half throttle and use a little bit of the clutch and try to get it to medium rpm once it's there and it can stay there It'll keep going, but you got to keep working it the whole time. <clears throat> like I said with the flywheel weight and lower gearing, you'll be able to get there a little bit easier. But the way it's set up now, it's a little bit harder to get there. You know, the uh, I think it is dies. I mean, you got to get to the medium RPM. You know, and there was that bend down there, so you had to come around that bend either fast or I came around a little bit slow. But then I, I hit medium RPM, came up the hill instead of giving up full throttle because I thought it was bogging. And as soon as I got there, I was able to keep it up. And friend actually came up a little bit when I was going up the hill, as long as you keep it there. So the trick is, though, you have to get a feel for the bike and feel where the power is. You know, and that's why the first time when I came around, I couldn't do it. I had to get a, a little bit of feel for the bike, see where the power was, and then. <clears throat> Seems like the power is in the middle. So you have to listen to the engine and feel how it pulls when you give it the throttle to figure out where to go with the throttle. If you give it too much, it starts bogging down and you give it less. You know? But it seems that if it starts bogging, you give it half throttle. You know, and maybe a little bit of clutch to get it to go. Once you get it screaming and half throttle, it'll go up the hill. And I wasn't screaming it that hard, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, you don't have to scream it that hard. If you scream it, you go up the hill, definitely, but you don't have to. It'll go as long as you can keep it at middle RPM. That's the trick. Alright. 
Yeah, that's all right. That's why you need bark busters. Look at mine. Look at this one. Broke. They break. You put these on and they don't break anymore. I didn't stop, I was... You stopped. Stop there, cute? Yep. From back there, just fly. And don't let up the gas. Right up. Don't stop when you... <laughs> Actually, it didn't let off that time, it was bogged down. Yeah. I think my weight. I thought maybe I didn't let off the first time either. I think it just bogged. Could be. I mean, both times it sounded like you let off. Yeah, I didn't let off this time. I tried to give it more throttle, I think. It was bogged. I guess I have to be going even, even harder. I was only a half RPM. I'm just too heavy, I think. <laughs> 